Columbus was the first one, and then more and more conquistadors came. Now, what were the conquistadors? Anybody know? Spanish. They were Spanish. The people who conquered places. They conquered places. Were they Aztec? No, they conquered the Aztecs. You see, the conquistadors were all really, really, believe it or not, they were the horsemen, the equestrians, the well-rounded, they had more money. And they were the guys who came over here, and they brought their best horse breeds and their best horse lines, and came over here as soldiers to conquer the Americas, right? Not and so what a lot of people don't know is that they didn't bring their bad horses. They brought their horses that were from their best bloodlines. If we do that, yeah, now we can see the no, but if you do slides. Can we do, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so they brought their best bloodlines. So. They brought Andalusians. Do you guys know what Andalusians are? You know the big, huge horses that go like this? That's those, some of those are Andalusians. They brought Spanish barbs, which is what Mas Ma Mavericks are descendant of. And oh, by the way, everybody know Lucy? Yeah. Know Lucy? Yeah. Lucy's a descendant of a Spanish barb too. Lucy and Maverick together came from the same wild horse, mommy and daddy, way back there. Really? Yeah, they came from the same lines and then they expanded down. So they brought Andalusians, they brought Spanish farms, they brought these things called genets, which are these horses. Everybody remember all the horses painted on caves? The Spanish brought those too, except that breed's no longer around anymore because it was bred out of existence. So they brought all those horses. Yeah. <coughs> so a Maverick and Lucy, brother and sister. No, they're way back and they're descended from the same parents, same, same lines, same way back. So because the Spanish barbs, they, so remember when the conquistadors came to America, they didn't just come to North America, they came to all the Americas. They came to North America and South America, right? And they brought the same horses. So a Peruvian Paso, which is South American, and Maverick, who was a North American Mustang, are both descendants of the same Spanish barbs from the conquistadors. Oh, cool. Isn't that cool? It's just that they went to different parts of the Americas. Now, what was the important role that those wild horses played back then with the Spanish? Um, they helped them with war. Yeah, how did they help them? They helped them because they would ride them into war. That's right, and how did that help them? That helps them because they could go faster. That's part of it. What else? You, 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 they wouldn't use as much energy. They didn't use as much energy. They're skittish. The horses, yeah, they were skittish. That didn't exactly help the Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. They helped them be able to travel faster and not be, have to walk so much. Helped them be able to travel faster and not have to walk so much. Do you have an idea? Was that your idea? Was their transportation. There's another really important thing about horses. So if you're an Aztec or you're a American Indian and it's the 15th century, how are you fighting? Bow and arrows. Bows and arrows and were you on foot? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you're on foot and all of a sudden somebody comes along and they're mounted on horseback, what happens? You You're done for. Good answer. Good answer. That's right. The horses actually helped the Spanish conquistadors conquer America. It helped us them conquer the Native Americans in both South America and North America because a the Native Americans had never seen anybody ride an animal. Right? They'd never seen that. They'd never seen a war machine that was an, something that could ride an animal, that it could ride up to them and hit them from above. They'd never face that, and so they didn't have a chance. So the horses helped the Spanish conquer America, and then what happened is they let them go. They let the horses go. The horses escaped. Some of them they left behind. They went home, and they weren't going to cart their horses on ships all the way back to Europe, and right? So they left the horses here. And that's how we got our wild horses of today, right? Now, our wild